What is up guys, it is your boy Scooter Brad coming at you with episode number 38 of Scoot Review. Let's go. So I asked you all in the group last week to send me as many ugly scooters as you possibly could. The ugliest parts, the ugliest completes, decks, forks, bars, wheels. In order to today count down the top 5 ugliest, worst scooters you can possibly get. Without further ado, let's get into the countdown. Coming in at number 5 we have these bulletproof completes. Now Bulletproof was one of the cheapest scooters that you could buy back in the day. Um, in about 2011 I think they dropped the first model and this one seems to be a few upgrades from that. Don't know what year it came out but I can just say that the neck of the head tube is still so ugly. What is up with that curve? I mean the deck is hella ugly, the head tube's ugly. This final one is the worst one though. I mean look at these Apex ripoff forks. Those are literally Neochrome Apex Infinity forks. Surprisingly enough I couldn't actually find any footage of this scooter being used used in real life so instead here's a video of George Sill from back in 2012 Coming in at number 4 we have the Team Dogs Neochrome Complete. Ugh, I think they call it the Gen X model or the X Gen model, I don't really care, it's so ugly. I for one hate Neochrome. And look at this deck, look at the head tube, Ooh, bro, what is that? We got fucking SMX forks over here, we got some Apex pegs pretty much, and uh, is that a Phoenix grenade clamp in Neochrome? I mean, Phoenix did a pretty good job of making the ugliest clamp ever, and now these people have made it even worse by putting it in Neochrome. They have a second model too, which is this one. The deck's not as bad, but the color scheme still stands. And look at those bars. Oh, Jesus. It's funny because the video that I could find of these scooters actually being used in real life, look, it's been shot so professionally. And just look at this writing. Look at the quality of this writing. Hold on. Damn. Look at those. Oh, the color scheme. Team Dogs, dude. They're on the come up. I wish I could be- look at that pig, look how much it sticks out. Team Dogs, dude. Oh my god, sponsor me please. Look at this. Oh, I didn't edit this. This has not been edited. I literally copied and pasted this off YouTube. They did these slow-mos. I did not do this to make it seem any gayer than it already is. The lip stool. Oh, shit dude, super slow-mo replay. Oh my god. Why? Coming in at number three, you guessed it, fusion. Any fusion. We'll start off with this pig in the deck one. I mean, look at this thing. Dude. Look at this dude. If you watch my Bo Bros Welcome to Fusion video, you will have seen this scooter and <laughs> obviously it is the, one of the ugliest setups you've ever seen. You know, I actually spoke to the guy that designed this deck and he said that it was not supposed to look like this at all. The forks, the head tube, the pegs and the deck, oh my god. And then we got this thing. I don't even know what this is. This is the type of scooter that people make memes out of. Take one look at the side of this deck. Why on earth would you make a curve in the side of the deck like this? Say goodbye to finger whips, boys. What pro rider runs 100 mil wheels, honestly? And then we got this thing. This green lantern looking ass piece of ass. The scooter looks like it was designed in China by little kids. They're just sitting in school one day like, hey, today's lesson, you must make a scooter, it must be bad, who is ready?
Number two, Elite Scooter's first ever deck, the Evolution. Take one look at this head tube and tell me you like it. Tell me you like it. Please. What were they thinking? Where did they get this design from? They're probably just sitting on Alibaba one day and was just like, ooh, sifting through the cheap Chinese head tubes like, damn, I like that one. Oh, I like that one. Oh, I like that one. Will, come on, Will. What, what were you thinking, dude? Come on, it's so ugly, dude. I'm so glad you guys actually came around and made some some decent decks. I guess you had to start somewhere, but this, this was a hit and miss, man. Shout out to Will. The bottom of the deck isn't actually that bad. Like, the extrusion's quite nice. I mean, just, just the head tube, really, that is putting me off. And at number one, we have the Flip Tech Scooter. And I mean, I wouldn't even really call this a scooter. I would just call it a toy or a piece of shit. Depends how you look at it, I guess. If you guys don't know what a Flip Tech Scooter is, basically what it does is, is the deck or the head tube is like doubled and the deck actually rotates so you can do kickflips on it. Super gay, I know, super gay. And it actually does lock so you can ride it like a normal scooter, but who would want to do that, right? Kicks, kickflips for life, dude, come on. Ah, oh, just look at it. It's so ugly. Imagine the lack of foot space. Like there is, there is grip tape on the head, on the the flippy bit. What? World's first rotating flippable scooter deck. Kick flip button. There is a button. A kick flip button. Fucking kick flips activate. Apparently this thing has recess grip tape so that you can grind on rails. It's funny because you Google flip tech scooters now and it says that the site may have been hacked and you can't actually go on it anymore. These guys had a GoFundMe campaign which was super unsuccessful, I must say. It was backed by 16 idiots that pledged $2,288 and the funding was unsuccessful. What a surprise. <clears throat> it was created by Michael Belland. Oh, sorry, Belland. So this guy thought that because he designed a top toy of the year, kick flipping man, like a tech deck with a personal on it, he decided, oh, you know what, I'm, I'm gonna put this technology in a scooter and it's gonna be sick. Hi, I'm Mike from Action Sports Toys and, um, Grew up here in San Diego, California. I, the cut. This dude is a crackhead. So we're pretty excited about that. And we just won uh, top toy of the year, 2010. You know, our vision is to be action sports toys, to be the next Mattel, the next Hasbro. We're, we're, we're slowly making the strides just through uh, your passion and effort and uh, you build it and they will come. I grew up skateboarding and riding action sports and that's why I invented Flip Tech. Really nigga? Flip Tech Scooters is the world's first kick flipping scooter and that's I want to show you how fun it is. What we have done at Flip Tech Scooters is taken that amazing trick and designed and engineered it with technology that works in a scooter. This nigga gay. Our deck comes complete with concave, a recessed grip tape so that you can grind on the rails and not mess up the grip tape. Does that look like a rail to you? No. Even the novice user to do a kickflip with ease. I'm here with Dakota Shoots, four-time world champion scooter rider. And hey, this is Dakota. I'm here at Claremont Skate Park uh, t testing out the new Flip Tech scooter. It's definitely gotten better since I tested it. This is going to be an exciting ride to watch a sport be propelled into the future. Ha! <laughs> Gay! Help support our worldwide tour of encouraging kids to live a healthy, active lifestyle. What was that move? What was... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can't take these guys seriously. Honestly, why would any of these people design such shitty scooter parts? Please leave the industry. Let the big boys handle it, okay? Now, I know that there were a lot of photos. Shout out to you guys for helping this video be possible. Here are some honorable mention ugly scooter parts.
as always, do not forget to add me on Snapchat, follow me on Instagram, subscribe to the channel, and hit up the Facebook group, Scoot Review. Every post has to be approved by the admin, which is me, so only the best scootering content gets posted on the page. That is it for today's Scoot Review. Thank you everyone for watching. It's been your boy Scooter Brad, and I will see you guys on Wednesday.